Hey, welcome back gamers. We are back on Game of Thrones. So let's go ahead and continue this and see what other mistakes I can make in this thing. Alright, so here we are. We are back. Game of Thrones. We are walking up on this guy that they just filleted. So, and this is as fast as I can walk. This is going to take forever. Hey buddy, how you doing? Bloody hell. Yeah, oh my god. They did a number on you, pal. Are we gonna stare at him? Ah, okay, now what are we doing? Lord Ethan! As I was saying, you are young. And there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. You got a point? Because I but sure wish you'd make 300 it. 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house. And your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Uh, do you really want to know? Oh, the good. He was fair. What will and they wise, call me? Hmm. And courageous in battle. And what will they ask call that. me? That is for you to define as the new lord. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear uh, this responsibility. Off alone. with their heads. Whoops, he and sorry. every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others the Lord Sentinel. Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Okay. Do I get to pick him? Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move. <coughs> Summon oh. the Lord. We need his judgment. We need a judgment. Now, I guess I'm gonna I've have to either nothing wrong. spare this guy or kill survive. him. What'd you do, kid? You stole something, probably. Uh, why did you kick him? Um, uh, who is this man? Who is this man? This craven is a deserter and a thief. Okay. This house is doomed! What the hell's this guy's problem? We all fucking know it! <laughs> Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Oh, huh. Two shields and three spears. I'm gonna ask him. You stole, you stole from us, from huh? Us. I feared for my life. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Hmm, what are we gonna do with well, this guy? Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming Together winter. Together we'll survive. Hmm. Calm yourself. Calm yourself. The time for calm passed with the late Lord Forrester. Now there's only chaos. <clears throat> You'll address him as guy Lord. Like, this guy likes kicking him, doesn't he? Lord Ethan, you yeah. must decide the punishment. Lord okay. Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. Men need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. Hmm. You can send him to the war. So what do we do? We kill him, take off some fingers, send them to the wall. I will decide. Okay, I'm gonna decide. Give me more than like two seconds to figure this out. If you punish go. me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Well, I don't think you're all Please, that innocent, are you? Lord, Take three fingers, send them to the wall, show me. him mercy. Hmm. What do we do? What do we do? At least it's not a timer. Do we send them to the wall? Hey, they sent me to the wall that one time. Let's send them to the wall. I sentence you to the wall. Where you will join the Night's Watch. No, oh, please, my lord! Yep, my too bad. Without me, they'll die! So be it. <clears throat> oh, 
Well, it's better than taking three fingers off. My house will remember that judgment, huh? Well, that hopefully was it was decent. certainly unpleasant, but a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. Was I right? It was my duty. It didn't bother me. on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. Yep. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But Probably a sentinel will. can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Okay, so who am I going to pick? Someone you can rely I on. I could choose you. No matter you. the circumstance. Uh, would Possessing you, uh, wisdom. Who would experience. you choose? Hmm. Who do I you think them? I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Well, wasn't that what yeah. I was doing? The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. Now I gotta pick this guy, Tonight huh? is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this Bracer upon your chosen Sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your Sentinel will wear this for all to see. I understand. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. All right. So, so I can't walk yet. Why is that guy staring at me? Everybody's looking at me. What about that one girl? Why can't I choose her? All right, so let's see. Where are we... What's this? Why is this thing hanging right there? All right, let's walk around. Who's this dude? Isn't that the dude? I, that's Duncan. Um, let's talk to her. Hey, yo. All right, you don't want to talk to me. Be that way. Are you holding a sword or a turkey leg? Can I talk to this dude by the wagon? No, I guess I can't talk to him either. Duncan's the guy I was just talking to. Who's this dude over here? Look at, talk to. All right, let's let's talk to this dude. See what he has to say. Hey, Maester. buddy. Yes, Lord Ethan. Oh, that's the dude Are I was just talking to. Name to. Your sentinel? Oh, not yet. I didn't know it was you. Uh, not yet. No, I'm not ready just yet. I, I let uh, me know when you are, my lord. No problem. I confused you for somebody else, actually. All right, let's come. Oh, food. Huh? I can look at the food. Let's go take a uh, look at this this guy over here, this Duncan dude. See what he has to say. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father Perhaps often you sought my counsel. Ask him about sentinels. Let him return to his duties. Let's ask As him. As lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. I'm not sure yet. And talking um, can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank well, that's you, why I'm talking Duncan. to you. I appreciate your advice. He didn't give I'm me any advice service, yet. My lord. Um, I wasn't done. I wanted to talk to you. Flash right. Look at, give now. brace or two. Okay, so that's all I can do with that dude. Wasn't there another guy? Oh, what's this guy doing? This Malcolm dude. Hey. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do. Showing mercy to a man who admits his guilt. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow. Huh, and where are you going? Night. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. She said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. All right, but well, this know really helps. As well. Um, I will be My gentle. My mother. Of course, I'll be gentle. 
I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. Why him? He'd be a fine choice. Why are you so and sure? I trust him. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan mm. would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Hmm. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Okay. Where are we going? Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. So hopefully, hopefully we get Marjorie's that help. influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. Why? Why are you concerned I about saw me? What you did to that man. Yeah. Your point? You said you'd get angry sometimes. This would have been a good time to see it. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? But... Wait for it. Oh. please. Should I ask her about the Sentinel? Tell I wish me. Father was here. What would you do? Who I'm should I ask name her. as my Sentinel? It should definitely be Duncan Tuttle. He's dependable and smart and everyone trusts his judgment. Well, that's so just great. is unpredictable and likely to make matters worse. Hmm. Well, she's a smart a girl, advice. so I, yeah, Thank I might. You. Yeah, she seems smart. Uh, we might go with, with her. Uh... Hey, that guy's behind a horse. He's listening to everything I have to say. Isn't that the guy? Isn't that him? Oh, that's Malcolm. All right, well, why don't we go talk to this dude? Let's go back to this dude here. Oh, that's Duncan. Um, give Bracer two. Where's my dude at? There he is. Alright. They could have made this walk a little faster. Hey. My lord, go. are you now ready to name your sentinel? I am. Yes, yes I Mr. am. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. Thank you. We're going to go with Duncan on this one. Here comes our little meeting. And I'm sure nobody's going to like my choice. Here we go. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. I have. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Now, what are you going to tell him? Uh, the choice was clear. You were both worthy. Um, Duncan, I like that one. Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let yeah, we know that. With it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel, but I have made my decision. Yes, we have. Oh boy. Um, well, Duncan. Duncan Tuttle. It's you. You will be my sentinel. Tuttle? Yes. This, this is reckless. Here Lord we go. Lord Ethan has made his choice. Roiland will remember will that, of course. Now he's going to be pissed. Yeah, I don't look too happy, now, do I? Sentinel, what do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? Our scouts say he's only a day's ride from here. We've no time to waste. Who knows what he's capable of? Uh, we need he doesn't to prepare scare me. We'll deal with him. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Ignore Sir Roiland. You named me Sentinel. I knew this would happen. Stop he this cannot be trusted. This is the bloody small council. 
Enough! Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. Yeah, that's right. Put your foot down. Sir Royland is clearly able and ready to take up arms, but the rest of our soldiers are not. We need to take a cunning approach. Diplomacy can be a sharper instrument than a sword. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Gentlemen, please. Oh, she shut him up. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf. But oh. we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I agree. I trust Mira's judgment. Uh, let's see. I don't doubt she I'm gonna ask her what she recommends. Her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Hmm. I don't know about giving him everything Why he wants. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons Ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! Uh, we will fight. We will bargain. We will use, uh, diplomacy. We're gonna I try diplomacy. Sentinel favors a certain approach, and I agree. I shall use diplomacy with Lord Snow. I would be foolish to pick a fight without negotiating first. I'll offer our allegiance, and try to reach a reasonable agreement. Good choice. Sorry, dude, we'd get, we'd get fight, slaughtered. You're bound to lose when one breaks out. Well, let's hope it doesn't Ethan come to a fight. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Way to go, lady. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. That's better. Aye. Well then... Let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. Invite him into this hall and meet him face to face, lord to lord. Ramsay Snow is no lord. That's absurd. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Uh, I don't know wait. if I want to show that. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. Lord Ethan? Hmm. I will invite Ramsay into the Great Hall. I will make uh get the gates. We're gonna invite I him to the hall. Him in the Great Hall. Yes. A wise move, my lord. It's careless. Can't you see Tuttle is steering oh, you? Oh, shut rock. your That's mouth before I kick you out of here. Lord has given his command. How many years have I served this house? I cannot listen to that bloody idiot anymore. Who are you Forgive calling me, an idiot, my lord? But you are not ready to be lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Get out, be quiet. I'm going to tell him to be quiet. Another word. Your yes. father would not approve, my lord. Wow. Walking away. What an asshole. Apologies, my son. I had expected better of him. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow in the Great Hall, and we will not offer our ironwood. And don't worry, Lord Ethan. I will stand beside you, where your sentinel belongs. Thank you for that. And perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. Agreed. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Yeah, well, no matter what choice Family. I make, somebody's gonna Mira disagree. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? Malcolm oh, speaking of that. You want to bring him back? He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. Uh, and we let's see. help we can get. Yes, I hear, what you're saying. I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? No. I wanted to intervene, but your father said... Ethan must fight his own battles. Can we take that kid's head off when now? Asher saw it. Sorry. He You're didn't still take a talking. breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. All right. This guy, Asher this Asher guy, sounds cool. Boy's teeth. Nice. Of course, your father was furious. But you were in danger, and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities. But um, you do not have that I'm smarter anger than that. You. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, 
But you need someone who is standing beside you. Alright, I have no trouble with this Asher, dude. Who the hell's this guy? I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Alright. You may do it. Um, Fine. send them. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Off with you. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Well, hopefully. Well, I'm going to stop this right here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. If you haven't done so, please subscribe, and I will catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching.